Welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking about the top five remedies for hair growth and thickness. So, a point to note is that thinning of the hair or the hair falling out may be due to natural aging as you get older. It may be due to your genetics. It runs in your family for your hair to thin. Uh, poor nutrition, overuse of commercial hair products, reaction or allergies to chemical or substances that you use, or even illness. So ma no matter what the cause is, it's possible for your hair to look naturally thicker when you use these products. And specifically, these products are what I use and I see luscious hair after using them. So remember, there's a range of products you can use and it varies from person to person. So what may work for me may not work the best for you. So you have to just try the remedies and find out what works for you best. So the first one I use is eggs. So eggs are high in protein and it's essential for the body to build strong, thick hair. So what do I do? I beat an egg or two, apply the egg to my scalp and damp hair. I leave it in my scalp, scalp for about 30 minutes and then I wash it thoroughly with warm water and shampoo. So that literally adds protein to your hair for thicker, thicker hair. Hair. So I do this like once or twice a week for several weeks to straighten my hair. My next one is olive oil. So olive oil is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and other nutrients essential for hair growth. So what I do, I heat the oil to body temperature. I massage the oil through my scalp and hair and then I leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I rinse it out with shampoo. Literally, this helps me and you can even leave the oil in your hair, the hot oil treatment in your hair overnight in a shower cap and rinse it out in the morning so it can penetrate more in your scalp. This helps me a lot, guys. It keeps you moisturized, it keeps you thick, and it keeps your hair shiny and bouncing. Be careful not to use too much oil because it can make your hair just fall and look so sad, you know. Another one is basically aloe vera. So many people use aloe vera for skin, scalp, and other hair things, but I use it specifically for my hair. I basically get the, the aloe vera, I peel it, and I get the thing in the middle, like the flesh they call it, and I rub it in my scalp, and I leave it for 30 minutes before rinsing, and then... You can also mix your aloe vera with some coconut oil or some olive oil if you want and leave it in your scalp, put it in your hair, massage it in, leave it in for 30 minutes and rinse. And you repeat this once or twice a week. Literally, this helps you so much. The next one is avocado or what we'd call pear. So it's very rich in vitamin E and people believe it's a very good moisturizer for your hair. So what I do is basically combine the avocado with a teaspoon of or a tablespoon of olive oil i apply it to my scalp i let it sit for 30 minutes and then i rinse it with my regular shampoo literally this helps so so much and the last one i'll be speaking for today is castor oil so castor oil is also rich in vitamin e and fatty acid and it aids in hair health so vitamin e is very good for your hair so basically it's very easy to apply there's not much preparation you're simple just warm the oil or just use the regular oil rub it through your scalp massage it through leave it in for 30 minutes and then you rinse it out and shampoo it as normal so continue these for like once a week and so on so all with this guys you have to have a proper nutrition eat right exercise and all these things contribute to the flowing thickness of your hair and your hair growth so that's all the five remedies i have for you today until next time see you soon bye